Hey you guys, what is up to remember here? Welcome to uh, Little Thoughts On. Thoughts On Total War Saga Troy. It has been announced today. There has been some rumors. Um, I don't know, a week now or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Troy, guys. <laughs> it's just uh, pretty sweet. And I'm looking forward. Um, I might have been the only Total War uh, Saga Thrones of Britannia fan uh well, in the in the Western Hemisphere, but um, yeah, I quite liked it. Anyway, guys, uh, I'd say we're gonna watch the um, gonna watch the trailer, and then we have a little thought about that, and then we're gonna go through um, a couple of questions which uh, Total War actually already um, answered in um, a quite nice uh, FAQ. Fuck as you would like to call it okay guys let's have a look i mean it looks pretty nice though gotta say that rage goddess sing of the rage of peleus son achilles murderous children of men, but as leaves that drop at the wind's breath. Well, pretty fucking sweet, isn't it? Wow, that was loud. Um, yeah, guys, here we go. Uh, that is something. I quite like it. Uh, we're going to, I guess we're going to mute it just a little bit. And then we're going to have to watch it again. And there's a, a VLC media player just crashed. No, I, I don't want to send a bug report. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, uh. Rage. Goddess, sing of the rage of Peleus' son, Achilles. So yeah, we know the story, don't we? So Patroclus, um, well, Achilles says, I don't want to fight. Um, they have denied me the spoils. And then uh, Patroclus uh, actually went in, got killed in his aimer, and now he's gonna go there and wants to fight Achilles. It's basically, <laughs> um, it's basically the um, the biggest point in the Iliad. Um, yeah, it's a little bit weird that they. Well, they have that then. So what we're gonna see more or less is um, that there will be duels. And they did explain in the fob though that they are gonna um, not gonna go for it will be a little bit loose uh, more loosely than in three kingdoms but it will be more or less the same um, seemingly the heroes can scream just like uh, Achilles just did here um, 
and then the other guy will accept it or not and even then one can retreat somehow this is what they say in the fog at least um there will be um there will be heroes uh, eight of them i had to think on the eight princes but yeah uh, we leave that be. I mean, overall, we have a little bit of, um, I don't know, Thrones of Britannia was testing grounds for Three Kingdoms. Uh, Three Kingdoms, uh, the DLC, Eight Princes, might was a testing ground for Total War Saga Troy. I would not wonder. It makes a lot of sense, sense to do that as well. You know, you want to build... Uh, uh, you want to bring products and you want to develop products if you can merge this together this makes a lot of sense and yeah it's kind of fine uh, Three Kingdoms is an excellent game and um, that being said I thought uh, Thrones of Britannia as you guys know um, is uh, was a good game it has been changed and modified for my taste just a little bit too much um, and it was after each patch, uh, basically another game. Um, but we can clearly see um, that Three Kingdoms um, benefited from that uh, testing field massively. And Three Kingdoms, very good. So I kind of uh, think, um, therefore, um, Three Kingdoms, Eight Princes, uh, actually... Uh, was the testing ground for um, Total War Saga Troy. Um, this is not a, you know, I'm just speculating here, but yeah, it, it kind of seems to be the case. Um, that brings me to um, the main feature of Eight Princes, actually, was um, the slight differentiation in terms of the um, unit faction uh, kind of feature. Uh, which were more fleshed out in the uh, then in the Three Kingdoms, um, yeah, game uh, and the DLC. This this part has been more fleshed out, and you had a little bit um, different uh, different other little things you could do. Um, so you had basically the um, the fact uh, the faction mechanic, which was. Uh, way way impactful more impactful than in three kingdoms itself and then you had um um such a kind of a hidden counter which you could um just assemble points which uh, is to found in um, nakai for example the new dlc as well and i do think this or something like that will be um here as well um, we do have uh, what role do the gods play um, so there will be no gods on the battlefield and um, they say that pretty clearly and uh, but what they're gonna do is if uh, for example I'm just I'm just uh, putting something out. I guess we do have Odysseus. I guess I do not know. Uh, they are eight heroes and I kind of feel like if you leave Odysseus out you where you have failed <laughs> you failed to war Saga Troy. Anyway, um so but if you come from Ithaca for example, you might have uh, something running with Poseidon for example. Um and Poseidon I don't know, and uh, they tell it a little bit further uh, down in the in the um in the fog um that you would get um some uh, bonuses if you fight on the water the naval warfare is uh, also um done like uh, total war warhammer 2 basically two forces meet on the water an island pops up and this is where they fight i personally think this is the best option to be honest yeah. Um, that being said, uh, so you, you get bonuses via your goddess. Or I don't know if you're going to go for um, um, bum, 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 Artemis, for example. You might have a little bit more battle speed or um, overall a little bit more movement points. Something like that. You know, the, the gods are pretty, yeah, pretty spe specific aspects. Um, they kind of represent. Some of them will um, overlap each other. 
but it's going to be uh, something like that. So no gods on the battlefield, but uh, god specific bonuses. Um, this is also what will be in here. Um, there won't be uh, mythical creatures, but and uh, this is kind of interesting. Um, I think what they have received really is. Um, <sighs> I think what the community doesn't really uh, notice or really get into into their brains is there will never be another game so with with a unit diversity as um, Warhammer. That being said, because it, it is it is fucking Warhammer, <laughs> um, and there there was never um, more diversity. Uh, before Warhammer, and there will be never another game diversity wise, unit diversity wise, um, than um, Warhammer, and and it's just like it is, and this is something you have you have to get into your brain. So, but nonetheless, what happened in Three Kingdoms? They thought um, um, this is a little bit uh, little diversity, and I think they knew that as well. I mean, a lot of people were complaining about the um, grayed out unit cards in the first place. They kind of changed that; it's optional now. But there is not much uh, diversity. And uh, what they did here now um, might be more or less the same. Um, I guess um, they will have different skins at least because I. Uh, for example, um, a man from, um, let's go again, uh, a fighter from Ithaca would be um, kind of very different looking um, as a man from, um, uh, I don't know, um, well, Athen wasn't really... Uh, from Theban, uh, for example. So these people, they would l kind of look different. Um, it's the different shield and uh, stuff like that. So they might uh, gonna do that. But back to the mythical creatures, um, I think they're gonna go for um, uh, Hydra, for example. That's just um, a kind of a unit type. And uh, in that uh, regards, the question is, will there be any mythical creatures? And then they call it our truth behind the myth approach has allowed us to draw from a multitude of mythical most renowned monsters and including them within the battlefield of Troy as realistic representations of their true form uh, what their true form may have been. And that's a really interesting uh, thing to do, actually. Uh, you guys know, um, or everybody who's watching me, I'm, I like f his history, but history to me uh, is just like fantasy uh, because it's, it's basically propaganda. Uh, until until uh, writing and actually um, preserving uh, written down stuff um, it has been always been propaganda it has been used as this and and there's you cannot rely on historical sources this is just um, an archaeology uh, fact so and um, so you could actually um, and since this is the case you can just go nuts and this is what they kind of did here and this is a, a solid interpretation what i feel uh, makes a lot of sense actually um so yeah uh, might be uh, i don't know we see some uh, lion guys um were wearing uh, lion coats and I don't know have a super hardcore attack or something like that or very fast or whatever and it's uh, I quite like that idea to be honest so overall um the uh, the whole thing about the our truth behind the myth approach um that's a good thing to do um I feel like this is a good thing to do that that being said all of that is just um you know, it's fine if they do whatever they do because it's just one interpretation of a thing that can't be known as yeah history and yeah kind of 
fantasy history, which is history in the first place, and then the the uh, the history which became a myth in the first place. So it this is un, unknowable, um, and therefore it's fine to just do that, you know, uh, just give uh, uh, create certain units um, which might represent um, yeah some mythological creatures. I do think it's a really nice one. Uh, we will see how this is, of course, implemented. I'm not going to, uh, yeah, but uh, it's it's a good one, you know. I think this is a really good one. Um, so what else? Uh, we had the gods. We had the unit diversity and therefore the mythical creatures. Um, dim, 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 dim. It will be uh, infantry, infantry, um, heavy. It will be... Um, so for research, they went for um, yeah Homer's Iliad, of course. I guess a l they do not mention uh, the Odyssey. So um, well, these are two different things, though. Um, two different stories, actually. So the uh, uh, the Odyssey is another book, just uh, so that we are kind of clear there. But yeah, um, so they said they're gonna go for they went for. Um, uh, Homer's uh, Iliad and the archaeology uh, recordings, which, um, yeah, so it, it seems clear, but as science goes, um, nothing is 100% certain. It seems kind of clear where um, Troy was, um, but yeah, as I said. And uh, it's <laughs> if you kind of study it, it's way less, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know, way less exciting, actually. So, but yeah, it's quite nice, though. Um, so if they're going to go for a mixture here, I guess uh, the thing is, uh, the, uh, there is a city and it's kind of well documented and there are city plans and stuff like that. And I guess uh, they went for that for a rough estimation how the city might have looked but yeah who knows um actually um how they did that um so yeah it's a 20 year period time dilute this is why they want to go for total war saga titles it's a little bit um a focus point in history yeah well is it really history yeah i don't think so actually um but yeah it's fine though uh i kind of feel uh, what i what i uh what i kind of want to point out is it does not get more classical than that um i i fucking love that to be honest um but um truth about a truth behind the myth approach which is i, I really think it's a good idea you could um you know the thing is if you um you see this in in and i kind of want to i don't I sorry guys, but I kind of want to point that out that um this is basically um what um uh, South American and Mesoamerican uh, warfare was just like created like you had some oh, you you guys might know that from medieval 2 um the what was the DLC actually called where well, you could play as the Aztec and you had some jaguar uh, units, you know, and there was just uh, a certain um, type of elite uh, uh, unit warriors, uh, elite warriors who uh, were um, focused on, I don't know, fast attacks. They were the Jaguar uh, unit, and I think they're gonna do this here as well, and that's uh, that's quite cool. I really think this is a this is a good approach because overall, everything uh, you know, all the his history channels on YouTube, this is all just one interpretation of something we cannot know. It's just based upon something we have read. And, and and just because it's written down doesn't mean it is true. This is a really important thing I feel like people need to get in their head. This is not what happened. This is uh, what somebody wants to tell the world after them what happens. This is a big fucking difference. I mean, ah, well, 
Okay, well, this is an this is another topic, guys. And nonetheless, and the, but this is why I I really I really like this approach with the mythical creatures, and um, I don't know you you kind of you kind of go for that then. This is really cool. Um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, many new active and passive battle abilities fuel this dynamism. Um, this is quite nice. There will be uh, lots more uh, differences between um, between light, medium, and heavy infantry classes, and um, they give a by, uh, they give an example. Uh, many new active and passive battle uh, battle abilities fuel this dynamism. So, elite defensive warriors may be immune to flanking, for example, while elite assault troops maybe the lions of something, uh, um, maybe uh, expert flankers, increasing the negative effects on flanking on the unit uh, they outflank. So this is this is kind of cool, I feel. Um, we will see. Uh, also, uh, multiplayer, yeah. And it's also, you, you guys know that, um, yeah, I, I just do these thoughts on if I'm genuinely interested. And fucking Troy, it, it does not get more classical than that, guys. <laughs> I, I fucking mean it. This is... Uh, I kind of looking forward to it, yeah. Uh, of course, it's a little bit um, how they're going to do that. We saw in the, um, in the trailer, basically, um, early on. Let's see if we find that. Uh, yeah, pretty much here. So, let's have a little back. So, what we see is more or less um, a pretty a pretty big city. And it's more or less, it kind of looks like um, a Roman one. And yeah, this is what we see in archaeology um, a lot. So, basically, little conglomerates uh, of uh, living living room so to say um nonetheless so th this being said um you you kind of look at that man this this looks like a fucking mess i don't know what they're doing there um this gives me hope but <laughs> i don't know uh what this shall be this looks kind of really weird yeah but i i think on the other hand this does not say much Got it, yeah. Um, it feels like just unit wise. Um, this looks like uh, what is it? Extreme, if not, if not more. Maybe, maybe they are just uh, just standing two together here. Um, but yeah, it kind of looks like um extreme unit size. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's fine, isn't it? I think it's fine. Um, famous heroes, we had that, dueling mechanics, we had that. Oh, diplomacy uh, will be there as well. So you got to, um, what did they say? Uh, bum, 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 bum. Uh, diplomacy allows you to keep uh, your allies sweet, your enemies in their place, and change the entire course of the Trojan War should you choose to. But um, the thing is, uh, within, for example, uh, the Greek camp, there was uh, quite a bit of rivalry as well, as uh, Homer, uh, uh, Homer um, actually uh, told us in in a in a in a romanticized uh, uh, ro romanticized story um but yeah so i do think um it will be um there will be not um diplomacy with your enemy maybe there is but i i do think it is more or less um diplomacy within um a coalition but that's just really a guess Mm -mm -mm. Watch this space for more information. Yeah, so we will have uh, economies might be worth uh, tapping on and that is completely deleted new multiple resource economy, which reflects the Bronze Age setting uh, bum, 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 monetary barter economy. Um, it's a little bit. Yeah, well, you kind of build with food and wood. 
and later on um, you get better structures which will require stone and higher tier units which will require bronze and it seems like you can uh, make everything go more smoothly with gold is the master resource and it's vital for trade due to its universal rarity um yeah we had the naval battle it's gonna be just like um total war warhammer um two after the curse of the vampire coast um dlc and yeah i think this is it so far um Guys, I like it. Um, I like the approach. What I kind of fear is that it might be a little bit of a... Now, nah, what to say? Um, why is it so small suddenly? Oh, well, it's just like it is. Um, what I do fear is it's um, a little bit... Um, so that they go for chapter or something like that. You know what I mean? Um, that might be a little bit uncool, though. Yeah, we will see. I don't really see how can they make that truly free or um, they just have um, a really, yeah, kind of yeah, well, this is, you can speculate now a lot, yeah, and I yeah, there are really zero ways they could do that. There's too much uh, going on. Yeah, it's hard to say. I say we're gonna uh, we're gonna watch it the last time, and then we are good. Rage, goddess, sing of the rage of Peleus' son Achilles. It's just me or. He does looks like a nice. like a GI. <laughs> they could have gone for a little bit of Mediterranean types, isn't it? Uh, Hector doesn't really look like a, like a Turkish dude as well. I mean, yeah, the Turks come later, but you know what I mean. But yeah, the Troy guys look a little bit more Eastern from the um, from their uniforms and stuff. it i hope you like it too i'm looking forward to it no fucking joke um i'm kind of snoopy uh there are ways to ruin it uh ruin it for me gotta say that but uh overall i do think it's gonna be pretty sweet well yeah i mean the thing is they kind of got me uh in terms of uh excitement actually yeah it's a little bit there there wouldn't be much but yeah actually bronze uh uh bronze age warfare is a, is something that is so damn classical total war um yeah that it's just fantastic you know that it's just yeah nothing else to say as i said earlier it can't get more classical than that yeah, therefore, I kind of would like to see, um, actually, several, several things. Maybe um, they're going to go, you can conquer. Well, I would fucking love to see, um, basically, the western part of Turkey. 
as um, as detailed as is was in uh, Thrones of Britannia. And then you just carve out something, and then you have to every now and then attack um, Troy, maybe something like that. Uh, but this is all speculation, and not really worth uh, saying or talking about it, if you ask me. Uh, it's fun. If you like to do that, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. Uh, overall, what you think, guys? Um, I've heard a couple of uh, people say, well, it's just a fucking trailer. Uh, I don't, I don't actually mind that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So let me know if you would like me to go ahead and speculate about all the possibilities they might could uh, flesh out the campaign itself. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments. Um, bring me over a thousand subs, guys. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I have to uh, stream in an hour. Wherever you are, do have a nice one. I see you in wherever you actually want. Goodbye.